I did something I shouldn't have done and I feel worse about it. Somebody else got in trouble for what I did. Yeah, a jolly jumper. I'll be taking that. That's the one I want. They actually have the one I wanted. Like me is six months. I hope that this is the right size. I would assume they, they're all for one type. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? What are you today? Uh, it's over 100, so you have to insert the physical card. I might have to. Oh, hold on. And of course. This kid does not like me. I got the biggest vanilla ice latte that Starbucks had. I thoroughly enjoy being an uncle. So my mom bought this little light from like the dollar store. It was like three bucks. It's like a little circular baby ring light, but that's what's lighting this shot right now. What's up guys? Good morning. I'm going to get coffee. Can I get a medium double-double? Hi. This girl just gives me, she did it for a bit. What's on your feet, bro? Your feet are dirty. Don't grab mama's bush. You can't grab mama's bush. Yeah, don't give me attitude. Grab one leaf. One leaf, not the whole thing. One leaf, I said. No, one leaf! Okay, let go. Oh, there we go. There you go, you got it. There you go. You won. I'm trying to pull it apart, Hulk. Relax. Going to buy something. Hopefully. Off a little bit. I'm buying, I'm trying to buy an ND filter. $250 later. It's still not unreasonably priced though. And I'll be back with you guys. It is now on the ND. So I'll show you guys the box. Try not to focus on my face. Your name, please? Crazy, I like that. I wonder how it's gonna fix. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You want to try a specific energy drink? You sure? Why not? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, mom doesn't want to try Red Bull. What did you think of your Pringles? Like Jess, your mom is here. Hey, how are you? Long time no see. It's been a while. Oh, thank you. I would love to get a new doormat. This is really hard though, man. That's way too big, bro. That's way too big for a doormat. <laughs> Charcoal sick trap. But it's what I need. Like I'm telling you, when you when you have a dog, dog owners will know this. The amount of time you spend sweeping during shedding season, so his hair just falls off when we're scratching him, petting him, or whatever. One thing I love about Starbucks is they're always consistent. I've had this four days in a row, and four days in a row, it's tasted fantastic. I am so tired. I literally got no sleep last night. Tossed and turned all night. Like woke up at one, two, three, four, five, six. I was just like, okay, fuck it. I've had enough of this. I'm just gonna get up. Yes, I think you are. Oh, oh. And I guess they had a daycare, like people out with kids. Yeah, how was that day? Bubba, Bubba, you're drooling on my chest, bro. The thing I did was I let, I was already done. I let my assistant go home. I said to my assistant, look, go home. It's 20 minutes before your shift is over. And clearly in that decision, I was incredibly wrong. And it was brought to my attention that somebody always has to be there till five, which I should have known. But I was just trying to, you know, show him that I appreciate what he's doing. And, and really what is 20 minutes in the grand scheme of things. But in the context of this scenario, it was the wrong decision on my part. So I genuinely feel bad. First thing I saw Andy, I apologized. Told him, you know, I'll never do that to him again. And given that I've only known the guy for like a couple weeks, it just bothered me even more. It, it really, really bothered me. Like I fucking felt bad the entire time he was off because I knew once I got written up, I knew he was gonna get written up. And the only thing I could do was apologize and just make sure that I don't make that, that mistake. 
in regards to this situation ever again. I should probably add that that decision, I think was made out of too much comfort and thinking that my boss would understand my perspective. And I also think that's why I was wrong. Because I don't think anybody, no matter how long you work with somebody, is given that amount of leeway in terms of here's the expectation. And no matter what your relationship is, I've learned through this scenario that you are never an exception. A scenario is never an exception to the rule.